Whoa, welcome, welcome, welcome back, or welcome to the channel, but today, we got Harpies, oh my gosh, for, if you're familiar, it's been a while since I've done Harpies, it does not matter what I was about to say, and it's not just Harpies, we have combined it with so many winged beasts and other beast-likes alike, so many beasts in this deck, and what's crazy is I was trying to run even more, like, uh, I really want, like, that's, you can probably guess, maybe, I was trying to run for higher, and, like, the way I was trying to run it was kind of crazy, let me, let me show you real quick, and then we'll get to the deck profile, but if you don't care about none of this, get straight to the replay, there's three, three, that's a first, I think that's the first time, well, it's because two of them are, like, really fast, so, you know, just, just get to the replay, I hope you enjoy them, and then, um, so, boom, this was the deck before, I had, like, three of these, I, I'm so stupid. I thought this was level one. So I had like one and it had three of these to get him so that I can get the the, the for higher cards. Like boom, boom. It, like the deck looks something like this. Obviously less. Like I, I toned it down of course, but like boom. Like I was trying to use that baby sword. I was trying to do something crazy. I was trying to use that baby source to bring out Rex who then could bring out B, who, can, who then could bring out Raphael, and then, you know, get full go out, maybe, and, like, get some draw power going, while also having, um, uh, where is he, where, where's Dampa at, whatever, Dampa would have been the pop, that could have, you know, started everything, he's really not here, I put fur, does he not have for higher in his name, whatever, so, yeah, I was trying to run for higher, but it was just too inconsistent, too bricky, so I was trying to see, uh, maybe it's, yeah, after I realized I couldn't, um, get, uh, the baby dino with this one, I took it all out, I upped the baby dino to three, and then, and then that's when I added Zodiac Barrage. If I had that and the baby Saurus, I could have popped it to then bring out Rex, and then do the for higher stuff. But, it, alas, it was not worth, it was not working, it was not great. But I already wasted material getting Zodiac Barrage, so I decided to keep it and just throw in a couple the Zodiacs that felt useful. And by really, I just met the URs. And then that's that. I don't know what else I added, but whatever. I just won't save it. Well, let me fail right here. Yeah, and like, as you can see, the deck is kind of packed. It is like a tight squeeze. It's a tight squeeze. So let me know what, um, and obviously I am very, I'm familiar with Harpies, but I am very unfamiliar with Zodiac, uh, Lyra, uh, Lyralisk, Lyralusk, right? And like, I'm not gonna lie, Zodiac and Lyralusk, both of them are like the con the most confusing XZ monsters <laughs> of like all time, bro. I, I I don't know, I don't know what to do with most of these Zodiacs, honestly. But so so let me if you are a Zodiac or a Lyralisk player that knows like a really good combo that leads to Ensem Blue or like whatever their boss is. I, I think they have cards like um, uh, Nightingale or something, and they have one that also attacks directly. Like, they do all that just to get Zeus out. I would add in Zeus, but then, like, I don't know. I'm not too sure, but if it's, like, too good to pass up, let me know. And again, Zodiacs, Lyralisks, if they have better combos out there than what I'm using, uh, let me know, because <laughs> it's... It's pretty tough. Same, uh, kind of the same thing with Tri Brigade. I feel like it's more simpler. Simpler. Simple? But, uh, yeah, I feel like it's more simple because, like, you know, we just bring them out, special summon, and uh, yeah. we, we make some cool plays nonetheless. We make some cool plays. And let me know what, should I, what I should take out. And if it's a Harpy, try not to pick the Harpies, maybe, because I still want it to be more of a Harp deck, kind of. But, like, obviously, if it's, like, Perfumer at three is too much. Lower her to two. Okay, I understand. If the Harpy's pet dragon at three is too much, lower him to two, I understand. Because he's like the only one that can't... Once you get the Tri-Brigades tri -brigades going, he's like the only one that can't, like, come out. He's not supposed to be here. Uh, and then stuff like that. And then if you say Hysteric Sign is, like, too hard to probably... I don't know, whatever. Just let me know ideas you guys have. I did throw in Foolish Burial lately, though, after all that testing. <laughs> I, I tested his deck a lot, like, uh kind of scared it oh my gosh it's been how long already <laughs> and i haven't even talked about the deck for real yet <laughs> oh my gosh it, i'm so sorry i i don't blame you if you get straight to the replay i really don't but 
I guess finally after what six six minutes let's start talking about the deck <laughs> um, so our little lyrilisk package I have is three of the yellows because she can special summon pretty easily one uh, should I just call them by their colors warbler uh, swallow sparrow I don't know, but wasted time doing that. Uh, but yeah, I have um. Wait, I need to turn off this light. It's kind of bothering me. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Holy crap. Um. Right, right. The birds and these two birds are at one because um, they they do other stuff, right? Right. You'll see. You'll see it in the replay. It's okay. It's okay. And then uh, that's pretty much it for them, other than their XZ monsters. But uh, bird call. Bird call is pretty cool. I think bird bird call is actually pretty great. I think it's a really good card. That's why I'm running three of it, three of it, three of it. As for Tri Brigade, Nerval up here too because it's a level one winged beast. Could be brought out with some of the birds even. Could be added with, by some of the birds or whatever. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, Fractal's at three because um, he's the one that discards himself to get like their whole chain going. Discard Fractal, and then throw away Kit, who then throws away a Nerval, who can then add a Keras, and that's already what? Three Tri Brigades in your graveyard that you can bring him out maybe not even then that's three right there he sends another one to the graveyard that's like four plus beast wing beast beast warriors in your graveyard already so and then he could get to uh, the link plays pretty cool as far as harpy stuff we have the one harpy to bring out with egotist we have a uh, channeler who can then bring out any harpy by discarding a harpy card i added a harpist wasn't in the beginning of this test obviously when i had like for hires and stuff but I added her back because when she's thrown away, she can add another card. Could be useful. And it's just another Harpy name for, like, Harpy Feather Rest. Which, do be careful, because once you activate this, you're locked into wins. And not all the monsters in your deck are win. So, save that for last. Oh, our little Zodiac package is just literally two, two of these Zodiacs. And then three Barrages. And then the Zodiac XZs. So. Which is crazy. I, I find myself weird using decks like this. Like, Tri-Brigade used to be meta. Zodiac... I heard. I've never seen it too much, though. I know Dryden's powerful, but... And maybe this card, the... Uh, is Barrage new? I don't know. But, uh, anyway. Well, I know they're good. So, you know, but we're combining them with Harpies. It's still Harpy first. And plus, like, tri Brigade and stuff ain't that... Ain't at us. Hey. <laughs> Damn. I wish I was better at editing. I would put, like, the meme of... Perhaps I treated you too harshly. Because I hated tri Brigade. But after seeing Cash Tira, Tear Limits, Super Heavy Samurai, Pearly, freaking, uh, what, what's good right now? Math Mech, like, after seeing all those, Tri Brigade, perhaps I treated you too harshly. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, before anyone says it, I did have, um, crap. Uh, I did have this for like a consistently getting fractal. So if you find yourself, I still want to run mostly harpies. That's why I'm not running it. But if you want to consistently get fractal out there, uh, fire formation, right? And if I feel like it's worth, and you guys tell me how worth it is, then I'll add it too, and I'll try to make space. Um, but anyways, what was I talking about <laughs> before that? The tri brigade stuff. I already talked about all that. And then a uh, Harpy Dragon, and then him and Chandler make two level seven. So in case you want to make this one, uh, it's a disruption. Could be cool. And then um, talk about that Harpy Feather Duster. Of course, we have to have this. It's a Harpy deck, and this card can actually be searched multiple ways, which is crazy. Obviously, one of the ways you're not probably going to use it as much, but hey, it's Harpies. Foolish Burial for could start the Tri-Brigade stuff. Could even help with the Lyralisk a little bit. If you have a yellow, you could throw away one of the other ones. And then he can, spe uh, she can special summon it. Could be good. Uh, little Tactics Engine, which is just one Talents and one Thrust. Hunting Ground could be good for Popping Sign, which is a good thing. And like, you know, just extra back row removal. I like that this deck is kind of good on back row. So like, if we ever match up against Labyrinth or Trap Tricks or... Any other trap related deck could be pretty good against. Uh, Featherstorm is a crazy card, crazy card. Wind, which we have, stops all their monster effects. And if we have a Harpy, quick effect. I mean, uh, added, uh, do it from hand. Damn it. Call by the Gravest for Maxi. 
uh, oh my gosh, it's over, it's over half the video already. I, I know it is. The uh, Cyber Slash Harpy Lady, though, is their boss, of course. All the Lyralisk XZs, again. I mean, I know, uh, Reticle Starling adds one. And Sam Blue is a disruption, so that, uh, pretty good, pretty good. Dryden and the others. Uh, Conductor, you know, we have a Harpy Link now. Um, oh, Ancient Warriors, Double Dragon Lords, he's cool. I had to make him, though. Uh, he's cool. He's a cool, cool disruption for Tri-Brigades to cheat out, basically. So that's pretty nice. I have their uh, Bear Brum, pretty good. I have Donner still here, just because why not. Of course, Seymour brings pretty crazy, which I just realized I didn't talk about. Apex Avian, who you're going to bring out with Seymour, so. And then, of course, the Tri-Brigade Bros Monster, Shirai! Sh Shirai? I like saying Shirai. The G doesn't make it sound so good. Shiraig? Shiraig? Shirai. I'm just gonna call him Shirai. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please enjoy. Oh my god. Alright. Look at our hand. Actually, pretty good. We're gonna send. The reason we normal summon. Per, well, actually, is because she was the best normal summon here. Well, actually, we could use Bird Call to bring out. Actually, we could still. Because the blue one. Yeah, but I. So now we kind of have three cards that can stop Maxi because Feather Storm in hand, once you summon a Harpy, if they try to use Maxi, you can stop it. So <laughs> everything's about Maxi. Anyways, they didn't Maxi. So we have, uh, yeah, we're going to go crazy. We're going to use Bird Call here to give us Sapphire Swallow. Since we have a Winged Beast on the field, she will bring out Nerval. That's why that one is a higher number. Maybe should even be at three, maybe. Can't want to throw out Nerval. Who can then give us cut ass? And now we're gonna want want to make Farajit to bring out Karaz. And now we're gonna link these three to into Seymour. I missed it. And an add send back. We don't need that. Karaz will now manage to to make the double dragon overlord. Double dragon. And then we just made Bear Brum so that we can discard these two. We didn't need Harpy uh, Featherstorm in our hand. But you might be asking me, hey, whoa, 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 why'd you just clean your hand like that? And we added back Nerval so we can XD these two into Assemble Robin. So look at this field. I like this field a lot. We have Assemble Disruption, Dragon Lord's Assumption. I mean, what? Disruption? Assumption? <laughs> what are we assuming? And then uh, the bird, of course, will bring out another bird. And now, because we threw out Hysteric Sign, and maybe I should have, instead of using these two to make a uh, Robin, I should have made Conductor. So that we can use Feather Storm on their turn. Because if they're in the end phase, we can't set it. So we just added three Harvey cards. Because of this card that discarded them. And yeah. They're... Maybe they could have got past my three kind of, well, Robin's disruption's not crazy. Well, no. If they special summon. Or does it have to be extra deck? I forgot. I forgot already. Actually, I can read it right now. Do, 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 Here. Uh, if your opponent special summons a monster. Yeah, any special summon. Okay, so. It's a pretty good disruption, then. Um. But, yeah. Again, we had no way to use Featherstorm on their turn. Because we didn't have a Harpy on field. And that's why there's only three replays. Well, only three. <laughs> that's why there's three, because this one was... I, I liked the combo we were able to do. We were able to utilize all... Like, it felt like one archetype. Because of the way it fit. Perfumer was able to bring out the Lyralisk, who then brought out the Nerval, because it's a level one winged beast. Wind, or whatever her uh, condition is. And then once we took out those two, and we brought back Nerval... And we, it just all felt like it fit, right? So that's why I kept this one. But let's get the next one. Fractal. Oh, we're back. I didn't even welcome you. Fractal to throw out Kit. This is the play we're talking about. Kit to give us Nerval. I mean, throw out Nerval to give us Karas. Karas. Karas? And now we're going to use the bird call. We brought out Cobalt Sparrow. You may be wondering why. But let's see if we figure it out. Let's see if we can figure it out. We're going to bring out Karas, right? To then banish to Farajit. Okay, my bad, my bad. We're back, we're back. Sparrow, we summoned, we, we brought Sparrow so we can special summon her so we can add Nerval, right? And now look at this. We're gonna link these two into Seymour. Okay, we're gonna use Burn Hall though. 
Nerva now will summon, bring out two more to bring out the double dragon lords. And then we're gonna bring out Tri Brigade Bear Brum so we can send those two away. And then add Kit back. And then have her banish two more to bring out the Harpy Conductor. You see, now this time we have a Harpy out there so that it can give us Feather Storm in our hand and we can activate it right away. I don't know why I add Hunting Grounds with Feather Duster. That makes no sense, right? <laughs> Feather Duster already destroys back row. Whatever. Blue Eyes Ritual. I really want to make a Blue Eyes deck, but not like the standard one. I want to like maybe combine it with Rituals like this maybe, or Good Negate, or like Chaos maybe. I don't know. Because that Blue Eyes card, the new one, I have in real life. I want to use it. I had that when I was a kid, man. But we stopped their lightning storm, so we still have more stuff we can do. You can activate effects, my friend. And it's a okay. What was the point of going to the end? Just leave. <laughs> but hey, Harpy, like Featherstorm alone in hand shuts down like what a third? I want to say half because you can't use traps on your turn. I guess certain traps. But uh. Yeah, like, you can only use spells and monsters. And it takes out monsters. That's crazy. But, let's get to the last one! Alright, let's see if we can actually let- We're going second this time, so, like, you know, those other two we were just showing combos that- Because that was just a- that was just cool combos that I, we were able to make with this version of the deck, so... Again, let me know any ideas you guys have. But now we're actually gonna go against an opponent this time, because they haven't even tried in the last two. Understandably so. So we're gonna special summon our Lyralisk here, who gets flipped down, okay? They probably think we're just Lyralisk. And you can also play mind games a little bit with this deck. Because you're running like three archetypes, kind of. Well, four Zodiac, right? Completely forgot about them. I'm going to use my Tempo Tactics talent! That is not good draws, not gonna lie. We throw away Kit, though. We'll then throw away a uh, Fractal, for no reason. So that we can banish those two to give us Fedigit! Special summon Nervil. And now that we have a winged beast, we bring out the Harpy Dragon. The only bad thing about Harpy Dragon, though, is that it's a dragon. Right? Because once you start doing your Tri Brigade stuff, you get locked into... Not locked into them, but you can only use those uh, beast, winged beast, beast warriors as link stuff. So we cannot link our Harpy Feather Dragon. And we can't even attack with it because it's in defense. So that's why we have that rank 7 in there. Just in case we ever have Chandler and then we're locked to that. We don't have to link with him. We'll like Z with him, you know? And now, speaking of linking, we're going to link yet again for Bebrum. You'll see why. So we can add a card, send back Avian, summon Perfumer, give us the Hunting Grounds, and Egotist. Because we have, because this counts as a Harpy card. And now we're going to use Hunting Ground so we can start popping some back row. You're going to destroy my dragon? Okay, that's fine. I did not need my dragon, but thank you. Now I'll send Harpist to the graveyard. Bring us Harpy Lady 1. Let's start popping back row. Pop the field spell. And now let's Synchro into our Cyber Slash, Harpy Lady. Pop another card. And then send back your, uh, your Sarah. Pop that. What is that? And now we're gonna link yet again. And this time bring out Seymour. We saw that animation three times. Let's go. Nerve will now add another uh Do you add yeah, it has to be a tribe again. Okay. I thought I was gonna I thought it could have added a Lyralisk. I don't know. We're gonna add Fractal though, because we haven't used his effect. And you're gonna banish Oh, right, look, see? Seymour helps us here because she targeted someone to banish, but she didn't kill as a winged beast at the time because she was flipped face down. Seymour and Harpy Lady were protected. Fractal will throw away a Lyralisk, and then we're just going to go straight for the battle here. Cyber Slash, take out these damn trap tricks. And now during the end phase, I will summon Apex Avian, and then Harpist during the end phase will give me Chandler. But look at that, this time we were able to go against them, and then that brings me back. Whoa! Calm down there, buddy. 
Regeki, dude, trying to like, damn. Fenrir can still uh, use his thing, right? But you can't target any of them. Well, I guess you could have targeted Kit, right? Because it's not a wing beast. Uh, you only protect wing beasts. Yeah. Well, that's fine. That's fine. And there goes your trap. And now I'll bring back Nervo. And look at this. We have a level one. Oh. Oh, let's wait. Let's wait. Let's. Oh, we're gonna bring out the big Shirai. Finish your Fenrir! That's the first time he showed up today, right? And now Sparrow will bring out the other Lyralisk. You suck! Damn it. <laughs> if only, if we would have brought out one Lyralisk mon uh, XZ monster, we could have had all... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. We would have had Cyber Sash, Harpy Lady, Shirai, and then uh, whoever, Ensemble Blue or something, or maybe the other one. Hmm. Well... There's the video. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, please consider subscribing or getting really close. And regardless, have a great one, y'all. And let me know some ideas. Peace!